everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World, and I'm going to start doing some YouTube videos. But these videos aren't like my Periscope videos. These are going to be um, centered around my reselling. Uh, I've started a reselling business <clears throat> on both eBay and Amazon. So I've uh, sold on Amazon for quite a few years off and on not really taking it really seriously but uh, and Amazon I just started in late September early November and I'm still learning about Amazon because Amazon is harder to learn I think maybe because just different and I'm older <laughs> and uh, so it was harder for me to learn but I, I'm slowly getting it and I have sent in uh, I'm, I'm doing Amazon, the FBA, Fulfilled by Amazon, where you send in, you collect big boxes of things and you send in boxes, shipping boxes at a time to their, through UPS, and it goes to their fulfillment centers. <clears throat> and I've sent in, I don't know how many shipments, uh, 25, 26 shipments, and I have between 300 and 400 products in Amazon right now. Uh, so it's getting, now it's pretty late to be uh, sending in things for before Christmas. So <clears throat> things that I'm going to send in uh, from here on out are going to be basic things that you would need all year, that people would buy all year round. It's just, just not... Uh, you would, I'm not going to send in things that you would think would be good gifts for Christmas because it's not going to get to the uh, customers in time uh, for Christmas after, because it has to be shipped into the fulfillment center. They have to sort it all out and whatever. But I think <clears throat> the cutout off day for that is probably the first week in December, maybe. I don't know. I don't know enough about it yet, but. I heard some other resellers saying that, so I'm just going by the ones that have been doing this a long time. So uh, I went to, uh, I was going to go, yesterday I was going to go to the Half Price Sale Salvation Army for eBay. And uh, I had it all planned because every Wednesday is Salvation Army's half price day throughout the store and uh, I think it's that way uh, on in all the Salvation Armies because I hear people the resellers talking about this uh, on their YouTube videos and they're from all over the United States so I think Wednesday's the day so I was had it all planned to go but then we were forecast a big snowstorm coming in uh, it was coming in toward evening, but <clears throat> I didn't get started till about, I don't know, it was 11.30 or so, 12 o'clock. And I was sort of afraid it would get here before I would be coming home from Salvation Army. So I chickened out and I went to my Goodwill that is here close uh, to me. My Goodwill is only about 10 minutes from my house here. Salvation Army is a, over a half hour away. So I'll do it next Wednesday for sure. Uh, if there's no not another big snowstorm. Now, we didn't get any snow, of course, all last night, but it did turn cold. It turned, it was like two degrees last night during the night and the wind has picked up. So right now it's only like seven, to 10 degrees outside and windy so the the chill factor is way below zero it's it's uh, really brutal out there I have to go out you know I had to go out and let my chickens out I have a flock of chickens and they have to be let out of the coop <clears throat> they come out they don't trudge through the snow though because they don't like to get their feet wet <laughs> I don't know why some chickens don't mind the snow my flocks haven't ever seemed to like the snow so they stay in their covered run which uh, there's no snow in there it's just wood chips so anyway 
I wanted to show you, uh, I did, I, I was in Goodwill for about, I don't know, maybe close to three hours yesterday. And I got a nice uh, medium sized haul from there. So I wanted to show you what I got. Um, I've been selling mostly uh, men's shirts, men's things. I find men's things are easier to find, easier to spot the uh, good brands. And um, I wasn't too familiar with uh, the, the women's uh, clothes that we'll sell. I know some brands, of course, and being 74, I'm not really up with the styles. <laughs> Men's styles sort of are th the same all the time. Uh, I'm sure there are some differences, but basically, you know, basic men's clothes are very, I know what they are, so. Uh, <clears throat> I did find, I'm going to show you what I found yesterday because this is going to be like one of those haul videos. <clears throat> I've been watching Nicole State a lot. She's a big seller on eBay. And uh, she does haul videos all the time. I enjoy watching her. Uh, she has a business with her husband. They do, uh, they, they live totally on their uh, reselling business. A lot of people do. So I'm hoping to be able to make enough money to pay the board for my horses. That would help so much. So that's my goal for right now. About a thousand a month. I'm not near that. I've just started. As you can see, my cat is where he's, she's not supposed to be. And <clears throat> this is Maddie. Oh. She's one of the adult cats that I read. Uh, got from the rescue about, I don't know, four or five months ago, along with a kitten. And the kitten is the black little one that, uh, she's about adolescent size now. She's not in here, but she's a terror, I'm telling you. Oh, there she is. This is, no, none of the other cats like her because all she does is jump on them. She, I'm sure she just wants to play, but she doesn't know when to quit and they just growl and spit at her and they won't play with her. So, and she doesn't learn either. So, you get down. She also is very clumsy and knocks things down all the time. I hear crashes from the other room uh, a lot of times and I know it's her, so. Anyway, getting back to my the, my haul video. I have a couple things I pulled out of the bag uh, here, and I'll show you. Maddie, if you're going to growl, you're going to have to get down here. Get down. Uh, I've been selling quite a few of these. I started buying these board shorts. They're called board shorts. They're used for surfing and on the uh, those little boards, boogie boards, I think they're called. And they're long, they're made out of real light material, so they dry fast. They're, they're used for surfing and uh, water sports. And this is a men's, this is a men's size. And this is a uh, brand that I haven't uh, heard of, <clears throat> but I'm just new at this, so. It's uh, called Pandemonium, and they, these are a size 34 men's. Uh, I found, I just listed some boys, youth ones on, you know, like size 12 to 18. Uh, I put them on yesterday. They're usually pretty uh, tropical colors. And so I picked up these, they were about $2. I had a 35% off coupon for Goodwill yesterday. I never shop at Goodwill unless I have some sort of a coupon. I usually have 20% off coupons, or uh, if you buy, for every $100 you buy, you get a 35% off on your entire haul. <clears throat> so I had the 35% one yesterday, and 
I used that for everything. For so these were just less less than a couple dollars. Uh, I also the only man's thing I got yesterday, men's thing besides a couple T-shirts, well, uh, I haven't sold men's uh, good slacks either. I've sold jeans, but these are these are khakis. They're called chinos, I guess. Uh, they're by Ralph Lauren uh, Polo, and they're <clears throat> a size 34, 32, which is a pretty basic size, but they're <clears throat> they're Polo, and they feel brand new. They feel like they've never been washed. Uh, the fabric <laughs> is crisp in it. Uh, and try those and see how the men's the next time I hit Goodwill I'm going to go through the men's pants not the jeans because they're separated the men's pants and see what I can find but I just picked these up real quick right at the end of my shopping yesterday now uh, the other thing I pulled out first is this is I tried to go to the women's dress section because I following Nick uh, Nicole State, what she says is she she buys a lot of little dresses and she says for the money uh, for like the two dollars you're spending two or three dollars whatever it is on uh, your your product your return is better on dresses than it is on like uh, a shirt or something like that so I was going to try dresses I've never sold dresses before this is a straight, I don't know if you can see this, it buttons all the way down. It's pretty long. I haven't held it up on myself to see how long this is. This is a size 14 woman's. So this almost is ankle length. It's like a shirt dress <clears throat> and it has a belt that goes around. It has a belt uh, that goes around. And this is all leather. Uh, leather. And the buttons are really nice. And it's made by Alex Marie. And I looked it up and they sell pretty good for pretty good money. So I'm going to try it. It's just a straight uh, sh shirt dress. <clears throat> so that was I think dresses are normally six dollars and then I got 35% off so it's more than two dollars it's whatever that would be <clears throat> and I'm going to now delve into my bag here I haven't pulled these out yet uh, this was in the t-shirt section, but it's not really a t-shirt. This is a, it's made of that fabric, like that real fast drying fabric, and it's tri It's called Tribal Surf. So I think this is something you can put over your surfing, surfboard uh, shorts or your board shorts. Uh, I'm not sure what size this would be. It says an extra large, and I know when you wear Under Armour or something, they're so stretchy, they're very stretchy, that they look smaller than they actually are because they fit, they, uh, fit like skin. So I'm not really sure if this is, it looks, this could be a youth size or it could be a uh, man's, I'm not sure. I'll have to indicate that when I list it. Uh, I'll take measurements. I always put measurements on because when you're selling used clothing, uh, it's been washed usually, especially things that are made with cotton in. It's been washed and it normally isn't the size exactly that it says on the tag. So <clears throat> I always measure. Uh, like in shirts, I would measure the chest and the length from the nape of the neck down and the arm length if it's long sleeve. 
and in jeans I measure waist, rise, hip, and inseam. So I always put measurements on because you never uh, know because there's jeans differ so much when you're uh, buying different brands of jeans. So you have to go by the measurements. So let's see what else I have here. <laughs> I went in the t-shirt section always and <clears throat> I got this Nike Nike t-shirt. And the reason I got it is because it's a dry fit. Dry fit usually sells for $10 for sure. So <clears throat> they like those. So it's a nice orange color. It's a Nike and a dry fit. So it's two wins right there. And uh, here is, I look for concert shirts. This is, this is a Michael Jackson shirt, the King of Pop, and it says uh, 1958 to 2009, and those, I don't know if you can tell, those are little tiny beads of some sort, but they're sparkly, sparkly. That's Michael Jackson. So I got that. That's an extra large, which is good. Good. They say uh, buy the largest sizes. They sell best on eBay. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter what, what you're buying. Just buy the larger size. I buy some regular sizes. But. And this, these pair of jeans, DNKY, you see that? Uh, these say extra large, but, or no, they don't say extra large. They say 12, size 12. Uh, I picked them up in the women's jeans rack. They were half off. <clears throat> uh, every week they change the color of tags that are on the Goodwill things. And uh, this week it's green and all everything that has green tag uh, is half off. So these were half off. Jeans are normally five dollars at my Goodwill, so these were two fifty. But when I looked at them better, these are not a women's twelve. These are a girl's twelve because they're short. They're short and look how small. I could never get in these, that's for sure. And they only go halfway up my my calf, so they're cute. So they're girl size 12, DNKY. So they're sell, they're, they're, they'll sell, they're in really good condition. Let's see what else here. Uh, here's another man's thing I got before I get to the women's. Uh, this is a polo, big uh, polo shirt, extra large. It's gray and white. And it's by a company I've never heard of before, so I looked it up. It's W W C K D W C K D. And I looked it up and they sell really well for a decent price, so I picked it up and we'll see. Because it has a, their logo logo right there too, W C K D. And your basic Polo shirt. Nice colors. <clears throat> okay. Oh, one more man's. This is another, uh, this is a Nike golf shirt. Yellow. I must have been in a yellow mood yesterday. I got a lot of yellow things. This is Nike, but it's a uh, dry fit. That's why I got it, because it's just plain yellow. It's just a nice big, uh, nice big golf shirt. The fabric of these dry fit are so nice. So it's in perfect condition too. <clears throat> 
Okay, here's my first little dress. I thought it was cute. It's in a small size, though. So small. It just says small. It's by Derek Hart. I had to look it up. It looked pretty, pretty good. But it has straps with beads right here. And it's short. And it has uh, like a crocheted lace around the bottom. See? And crocheted lace around the top. Around here. And it's stretchy in the back. Stretchy here. So I thought this was really cute fabric. I like it. This is one of those uh, real light. I don't know what it's made out of, probably polyester. <clears throat> oh no, this is 100% rayon. So this will be real nice feeling on. Very nice. I like that color. Okay, the next one is... black and white uh, it's by Laundry by Shelley Siegel and they do pretty well I guess online this is a small though and it's just sort of a basic but it has a drop waist uh, it's just sort of straight down a drop waist and a little skirt see a little skirt it's uh, I think it's lined. Yeah, it's, it's lined. And nice basic little dress with little little cap sleeves. <clears throat> so we're gonna try that. And let's see. This one has, still has its tag on, and it's by Shannon Marie, and it's uh, made in Hawaii. It's from Hawaii. <clears throat> and it's, a, of course, a Hawaiian print, tropical print. That's just a little short dress. Not real short, but it's lightweight. And, uh, yes, made in Hawaii, USA, 100% rayon, nice and cool. It has a little drawstring tie here that you can make it uh, tighter under the bodice there. So. <clears throat> and let's see here. This is, I like this fabric. It's by Laundry too. It says it's small, but it must just be a dress that just is a straight, uh, straight sh like a chemise, sheath dress. It's kind of, it's kind of short. It is lined too lined and has some green and blue around the bottom. Pretty fabric. It looks pretty big for a small, but I don't know how it fits. I'll have to try that one on and see what it looks like. How it's supposed to fit. And at the bottom of my bag here. So this one is by uh, this is cute fabric. Uh, Jones Jones Wear and it's uh, part rayon. Oh it is all rayon too. Rayon and has little flouncy cute flouncy sleeves. See through sleeves, caps. 
and it has a little ruffle around the bottom. Cute. It's lined. So we'll see how that goes. Just a pullover dress. I like this fabric. Flowers on black. Uh, and that's the end of my bag for the clothes. So, <clears throat> I didn't get too much, but I got enough for me to keep me busy today on the snowy day. Um, I got some books. I got a couple books for Amazon. And I also got... Let me show you this thing. Excuse me a minute. I got this brand new in the box. It's a stamping thing, stamping kit. It has 262 stamps in it that you cut out they're rubber stamps. You cut them out and you put them on the clear blocks. And it has the uh, three clear blocks, a stamping mat, the storage case for all these stamps here, and some black archival ink, and some colored pencils. And it's all in this uh, unopened box. And I'm sending that to Amazon. Uh, even though it's going to be after Christmas they get it, but people, stamp people, stamp all year round, so it doesn't matter. And one more thing I have to show you, because I got this for the cats, and it's the funniest thing. I saw, they were just putting this out, and it was squeaking like crazy. Every time you wiggle it, do you hear that? It makes this sound like a real mouse. And here comes the cats. <laughs> I may be attacked in a minute. And I brought it home and they didn't know what to think of it at first. And my dog, of course, being the chicken that he is, my dog was actually afraid, <laughs> afraid of it at first. He didn't like the noises. But uh, I put a little catnip on the mouse last night, and they just went wild for this thing. So it is the cutest toy, and I'm just hoping that my dog doesn't devour it before my cats get a chance to play. And here is my, my kitten. Yeah, she wants to see what's I'm messing with her mouse. So can you hear that on, on here? So I was walking around Goodwill with this in my basket, and every time it would bump, it would make this noise, and I was squeaking all over Goodwill. So that was my haul from yesterday, and I'm going to uh, close now and see if I can get this put on YouTube without too much trouble. And I, I may, it stopped snowing now, and there is another half price sale at a little shop in Medina, a little shop. It's a thrift store uh, put on by the hospice uh, group. It's called something treasures, thrifty treasures, I think. I keep forgetting the name of that one, but uh, they have really good, better things. Their, their clothes are more expensive that's why I only do the half price sale ones. And then every Tuesday their books are half price. So I went I went uh, a couple days ago on Tuesday and got a couple books, but I may go I'd like to go today even though it's so bitter cold outside, but I can dress for that. I just have to run in and out of the store. I'm not gonna be out in the weather. So I may do that. And I'll come back with that haul, too. Hopefully I'll get a haul. I've gotten some really good brand clothes there, so I hate to pass up. They only have this sale once a month. 
This month, though, they're having it also on the 29th. So it's today, and then Thursday the 29th, they'll have another one after Christmas. So I will uh, see you later. Bye.